Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about plant breeding part 1. Plant breeding. Plant breeding is an applied branch of botany and deals with the improvement of cultivated varieties of plant. It is the improvement of heredity of crop and production of new crop variety which are for better than original type in all aspects. Aim and objectives. The aim of the plant breeding differ with the type of crop, soil, climate etc. However, some common objectives are listed below. To get higher yield, to improve the quality, size, shape, color, taste and storability of the produce, to improve resistant to drought, disease, frost and salinity, to prevent the premature falling of buds, fruits etc. To change the duration of crop that is to develop early maturing that is short duration or late maturing that is long duration crops. To increase the efficiency of fertilizer use to change the growth habit that is to produce dwarf or long varieties profusely branched or sparsely branched variety to make harvesting easier to induce adaptability of crop to different climate and soil condition. Different methods of plant breeding are based on the type of reproduction and pollination operated in a crop. There are five important methods of plant breeding. They are introduction, selection, hybridization, mutation breeding and polyploidy breeding. Plant introduction. The process of introducing high yielding variety of plants from their growing locality into new locality is called plant introduction. The newly introduced plant has to adopt or adjust itself to the new or changed environment. This adjustment of the introduced plant is called acclimatization. This is a kind of natural selection. New plant are usually introduced are imported in the form of a seeds or cutting. Precaution. Great care must be taken while importing a plant material. It may carry pathogen and pest along with it. So the introduced plant material should be thoroughly tested in the plant quarantine. Merits. This is the earliest and quickest method of crop improvement. Introduced plant serves as a good source of parental material for hybridization experiment. Introduced plants can be subjected to selection to better result, to get a better result. Demerits, plants pathogen and pest may also seek entry along with the introduced plant material. They may multiply rapidly in a new climatic and uh, cause serious damage to the introduced variety. For example, pathogen like Phytophthora infestans uh, which caused the late blight of potato was introduced to India from Europe. In case of selection, there are two types. One is natural selection and another one is artificial selection. In case of a natural selection, nature will select the high yielding variety. Whereas in case of artificial selection, here the selecting agent is man. Man exploit the variation existing among the species, he pick up a few plants of better qualities from the mixed population and tries to propagate them. There are three methods of artificial selection. They are mass selection, pure line selection and clonal selection. In case of mass selection, this is the simplest and oldest method of crop improvement practice by farmer before harvesting the crop he select the best plant from the field seeds of these plants are collected and pulled up these seeds are used to rise the crop in the next year presence of heterozygosity or variability is the basis of mass selection procedure mass selection is practiced in cross pollinated crops plants are in the heterozygous condition. Seeds of best plants showing high vigor are collected and pulled up. These seeds are used to raise the crop in the next generation. 
or next year the same process is carried out for 7 to 8 generation finally they will be multiplied and distributed to the former for cultivation if population is homozygous in the beginning itself it is not possible to do this good result are obtained if the existing variation are more in population mass selection is based on external characters only hence it is easy to follow this method it is the easiest and quickest method of crop improvement it needs no scientific knowledge newly produced variety need not be tested pollination need not be controlled to produce a new variety mass selection is the only method of improving wild and local varieties demerits the importance is given to phenotypic characters only this method is applicable only to the cross pollinated crops the new varieties produced is always heterozygous there is no control over pollination as a result the degree of heterozygosity increases and the desirable quality gradually diminishes. It is not possible to increase the yield of variety because importance is given to no maternal characters only and yield is subjected to environmental influence. Achievements through mass selection are cotton, example is Darwar American, uh, whereas uh, for ground net example is TMV1 and TMV2. Second is pure line selection. A group of plant obtained from single cell fertilized homozygous plant is called pure line selection. The process of isolating a desirable homozygous individual from a mixed population and multiplying the same without contamination to release a new variety is known as pure line selection procedure 50 to 100 plants or heads are selected from the mixed population of the field before harvest these seeds is collected separately the progeny of each such plant is grown in a separate line plants with desirable characters are selected from each line again 25 to 50 seeds from each such plant will be grown in separate row in a plot. The same process is followed for 7 to 8 generation until a new variety is isolated. Merits. This is the only method to improve local varieties of self-pollinated crops. This method is easier than hybridization. New plant variety produced by this method are uniform similar in phenotype and genotype this method is also useful for production of pure lines and inbreed lines in cross pollinated crops demerits of clonal selection it is a very lengthy laborious process new character cannot be introduced into plant variety it is not possible to improve a variety beyond a certain level of homozygosity extreme homozygosity may result in low yield and other undesirable characters due to high degree of homozygosity variation among the varieties are also limited therefore their adoptability is varied condition is also poor achievement wheat np4 np6 k13 are the examples for clonal sen um, pure line selection in case of clonal selection it is a selection of desirable clones from a mixed population of a vegetatively propagated crops is called clonal selection the progeny of a single plant obtained by vegetative propagation is known as clone or all the vegetative progenies of a single plant are called a clones clonal selection is the method of improving vegetative propagated crops such as sugarcane banana potato citrus mango grapes sugar beet etc all the plants of clones are similar to similar in phenotype and genotype just like a pure line selection here also the importance is given to phenotype only varieties developed by clonal selection are more stable as there is no segregation 
variation do not usually appear in the plants of a clone even after many years of cultivation the characters are not disturbed or lost hybrid vigor of the plant can be maintained or preserved for many generation by clonal selection this is the only method to improve the vegetatively propagated crops vegetatively propagated plants improved by hybridization are also finally selected by this method demerits the this method is not applicable to crop propagated by seeds this method is useful only to isolate best gene genotype already present in the population new genotype can't be developed by this method achievement crop potato kufri red kufri saved are the example for clonal selection next is hybridization hybridization is the method of producing crop variety in which two or more plant of unlike genotype is crossed together the main objective of hybridization is to create variation by bringing new combination of genes by hybridization a plant variety containing as many economically valuable character as possible can be produced hybridization is practiced when no further improvement can be achieved in a local variety by other method it is practiced both in self pollinated as well as cross pollinated crops types of hybridization according to taxonomic relationship of the parental plants involved in a cross hybridization is divided into the following types intervarietal intervarietal intravarietal and intervarietal interspecific and uh, intergeneric hybridization intervarietal hybridization this is a cross between two plant of the same variety but have different genotype this is helpful for improvement of self pollinated crops intervarietal hybridization this is a cross between plant of two different variety of same species hence the cross is also called inter specific hybridization this type of uh, is employed this type is employed in development of self pollinated as well as some cross pollinated crops achievements are wheat np52 multiplied with a np165 which give rise to np710 inter specific hybridization this is a cross between plant of different species belonging to the same genus hence this is also called as intra generic hybridization this type of cross is mainly used to produce disease drought and pest resistant variety genes of this resistance located in wild species and are brought into a single hybrid individual resistant variety of wheat tomato sugar cane etc have been evolved evolved or evolved by this method only example is cotton in case of cotton gossypium hirsutum is crossed with uh, gossypium arboreum which give rise to a uh, resistant variety called devi raj next is intergeneric hybridization this is a cross between plant of different genera of the same family here the parents are taxonomically distinct distinctly related hence this type is also called wild cross or distinct cross this is the most difficult of all type of crosses this type of cross is usually conducted to synthesize new genera hybrids produced by this method have both scientific as well as agricultural significance example is uh, raphanus when it is crossed with brassica it gives rise to raphano brassica another example is brinjal when it is crossed with tomato it gave rise to bromato aim of hybridization the main aim of hybridization are to combine all good character into a single variety to increase the range of genetic variability to exploit and utilize hybrid vigor
Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.